Call of Duty Cold War. One of the most recent Call of Duties that I would argue is one of the best ones out there. Not only did it give us zombies, but an amazing Treyarch experience. And considering the fact that Treyarch took over this game within like a year of it being released and changed it completely is crazy to think about. So in today's video, I want to go over some of the scrapped content that was there before Treyarch took over and after they took over that never fully released. I'll be jumping from zombies to multiplayer and even a bit of blackout slash warzone. I know that's crazy. Before we fully do that, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, be sure to drop like at the video, and let's get right into it. So the first thing to mention is, yeah, Treyarch did take over Cold War a bit late into its game life cycle from Sledgehammer. You can actually see some early concept arts of what the campaign was supposed to look like. It wasn't gonna include well, obviously most of the trailer characters. And here's some of the concept art by Jesse Lee. You can check out the full like concept art if you just look it up on Google. And it's kind of nice to see and interesting to consider that this story would have been completely different and every single character that we have seen in the game would have not been the characters that we have seen. My theory is that Adler would have been in the game all the time. I feel like Adler is one of those characters that was in the game originally and they just kind of adapted into the Cold War story. But we wouldn't have seen Woods, Mason, so on. So forward. The most interesting one that I want to get into is zombies because zombies has a lot of cut content. The first one is Double Tap was actually planned to release in the game originally. Now a lot of people have kind of ignored this and be like well that's not true because we have different perks and where's Double Tap. Also some people will say Double Tap is implemented into the Pack-a-Punch machine which we never fully had like a confirmation of that. It is theorized because that's the way it was on Black Ops 4 Zombies. But the leaked perks inside of the game before they all fully came out did have that Dark Ether jingles. If you don't know, if you go inside of the Dark Ether and Zombies, it does have a completely different jingle to it. So you had Mule Kick Dark Ether Jingle, which ended up coming out, PhD Dark Ether Jingle, which ended up coming out, Tombstone, which ended up coming out, and there was one more, and that was Double Tab. Also, there's some little Easter eggs here and there inside of Outbreak, or just overall in Cold War, that advertised Double Tab, which was kind of like a huge speculation that it might still come out, but it was unfortunately replaced with Death Perception, or even fortunately, Death Perception is a pretty great perk. The next one is, there was actually supposed to be a lot of customization when you were going to be loading into Cold War Zombies, similar to Black Ops 4 Mutations, where you had the option to choose round caps, time caps, basic zombies, special zombies, headshots only, and even some mentions of traps, which is very interesting, as we didn't really see them in the Machina. Also, there are some icons of characters that are in the game and also not really in the game. So there's an icon of Samantha Maxis that looks like this, and also of Piotr, which I'm pretty sure we didn't see in any of the games, but there's definitely some audio lines from the character and I'm just interested and curious as to when we would have seen him showing up in the story before it was inevitably scrapped. Also, there's a very interesting mention of jetpacks in the old leaks. Now, this is a leak that was combined with everything that was supposed to come out before the game. So there was leaks of the Machina completely, Firebase Z, a Berlin map, so on and so forth. Very, very, very reliable leakers because what they said ended up coming true, but just not everything. And one of them was jetpacks. So we were supposed to have some kind of jetpack that you could build that had five parts and had limited uses. Now, I don't know how this would have worked in what zombies map. Was it an outbreak thing? And I'm kind of sad it got scrapped. Now, I know jetpacks don't make sense, but it could have been a dark ether jetpack. Imagine how cool that would have been and hopefully they repurposed this to either see in Modern Warfare 3 zombies or maybe the next Treyarch iteration of zombies in 2024. Also, th with these leaks, there was another interesting mention of an actual knock their own totem normal survival map coming out. This was leaked and rumored throughout the whole life cycle of Cold War and even after that, and to this day, I still believe that is out there and for some other reason just never got released. Nactar on Toten is there. There were leaks and rumors that it was going to happen, so why didn't it? We'll never know. It's sad to say, but maybe someday, Treyarch will be like, hey, 
Cold War update. Here, have this Nectar on Toten, which will never happen, but a man can dream. Now, this next one is actually very interesting because it is Outbreak Leaks, and it's sounding very interesting because Outbreak was actually supposed to be called Operation Requiem. Yeah, it wasn't even supposed to be called Outbreak in the first place, and also it was supposed to be very similar to what it is, but instead of you jumping from region to region each time you would use the teleporter, you were actually supposed to completely exfil, and you were set on a huge war zone style map <coughs> modern warfare 3 style and you were just supposed to exfil and each time you exfil you got brought over to another area of that map you were still limited similar to how we are on outbreak but you were able to see the rest of the map think of it like a huge map that we can see on modern warfare 2 when you can hop into the big multiplayer maps and you can still see most of al nazra it was supposed to be very similar to that and i think it's very interesting we actually have some leaks pictures and stuff that you've been seeing to support that which is really cool and that's it kind of for zombies but it's also very interesting that outbreak was supposed to be very similar slightly very similar to what we're going to be getting in Modern Warfare 3 and I wonder why they didn't do it my, my theory is that it was limited because if you notice Cold War in its looks is very different from what we do see in like the other Call of Duties like even Vanguard look wise it's a totally different engine and they were definitely limited to what they were able to do also something I did forget to mention also on top of this on zombies is one more operator which was Ravenov this was a very weird situation that we had where the site was supposed to release with the operator and then over time for some odd reason just got completely changed and Ravenov was scrapped from the game completely so we do not have Ravenov inside of the game we don't know exactly what happened but we do not have this operator inside of the game so that is like one of the last zombies things that we do know about but now let's move over to multiplayer multiplayer does have some interesting stuff but it's not as crazy as zombies in my opinion so going back to that whole map thing that I mentioned with outbreak or operation requiem it was actually supposed to be called ural mountains so we knew about this for a while but it was supposed to be a complete war zone slash blackout style experience which you can experience in firearms or multiplayer it has extremely similar like gameplay styles to blackout which is something that a lot of people wanted but unfortunately we never got we also have like a completely leaked map or at least an early draft of a map what it was supposed to look like you have things like alpine Duga, Rucka on there which we would have seen all combined together aka ural mountains and it's sad that we never saw it and hopefully Treyarch does get to dabble inside of the Warzone slash Blackout kind of experience with their iteration of Call of Duty in 2024 which is inevitable to happen and fingers crossed it's going to be good. Also some field upgrades or at least one field upgrade that was supposed to come into the game but we never did see it was a barricade which is something we see now in Call of Duty a lot. Here is a picture of what it was supposed to look like. Canines were supposed to be a score streak so yeah you would have had dogs running around the place killing players like we did see on Black Ops 1 which is a nice reference and kind of sad that we never saw it because because, you know cold war and black ops 1 are very similar to one another in a way also some cancelled perks there were two that don't have any descriptions to them one is called espionage the other one is called endurance and the last one is very similar to quick revive and zombies it's called medic increase health regeneration speed accelerate revive speed and reward allies with bonus health after a revive and that essentially sounds to me like quick revive so they were supposed to implement something that's like quick revive but also this wouldn't really work inside of normal multiplayer this would be a perk that to me screen blackout or at least fire team only because you have revives and accelerated regeneration of health and stuff like that so it's very interesting and i wonder why they just kind of brought over quick revive then again quick revive concept is pretty simple and it would work on other modes in my opinion but yeah that's it for cold war zombies and multiplayer cancelled content and leaks whatever you want to consider this video there is plenty of other games out there zombies multiplayer and campaign that have different leaks to them different cancel content that we just never saw so if you would like to see a part to comment down below what game you'd like me to look into and i'll definitely try to cover it it can be from vanguard yeah i mentioned vanguard for fun just because we talked about it earlier to the oldest of call of duties that you can think of and i'll try to look into it and combine it into a video again if you're new here be sure to subscribe be sure to drop a like on the video and i will see you guys in the next one peace out